Hey my cyber babies, welcome to the Mother Love Show right here on the YouTube channel. This beautiful lady is Jen Faith Brown. Remember I used to tell you, I tell you this all the time, I don't like working with ugly people. Now you see why, because I like beautiful people that do beautiful things. And she does beautiful things. You're a singer, you're an actress, and now a playwright. And I mean, you actually got to meet the subject of your play. Yes. Tell us about that. It was in 2003, so it was quite some time ago. Mm -hmm. um, but it was the most incredible experience getting to meet her. And uh, she was staying at, at a home when I went to meet her. And when I saw her, she was looking out the window and she had tears in her eyes. And I asked her what was the matter and she said she was so frustrated because she couldn't tell her story anymore. She loved sharing her story with young people. That was her mission. And she wanted young people to know that love is the answer to all things. And I made her promise that I would do my best to write the play in a way that would honor, honor that statement. Tell people the name of the play and just give us a synopsis about what it's about. It's called Only a Girl. It's about Irene Gud Updike, a 17-year-old Polish Catholic girl who was responsible for saving hundreds of lives during the Holocaust. She was like a female Schindler's List, huh? She had yes, a whole thing Yes, she happening. was, yes. And she, uh, she said, I was young and stupid. That's why <laughs> I did the things I did. <laughs> and she said, I didn't know. I, uh, the only thing I knew was that what was right and wrong, and I knew I had to stand up and be counted. And, and have a voice and give other people a voice. I think it's important to, that we share our history and share our stories, yes. you know, and not be afraid. You know, how, how are we going to learn about ourselves and about each other if we don't even want to acknowledge the past? That's you right. know, when I, I talk to my friends who, my, my Hebrew friends, and we talk about the Holocaust, and we talk about slavery, and we talk about segregation and Jim Crow, and we look at what's going on with the Native Americans in South and North Dakota. They want to pull a pipeline, you know, like they, like we just should not respect one another. We've That's got to right. come to a place of love. That's right. And we've got to, and the only way we're going to do that is to sit down and have a dialogue. Now, you talk about the importance of keeping this story fresh and sharing it with young people. Why is that important to you? Because you know what the young kids say all the time. Oh, that happened way back in the day. That wasn't us. I don't know what you're talking about, Miss Jen. That wasn't, <laughs> you don't even understand, Mother Love. I'm like, what? Yeah. I think young <clears throat> people are looking to adults to find the answers, but the truth is it's in themselves. It's, they need to learn, we need to teach them that the answer is within themselves. And you've got to be fair enough and adult enough to say to young people, I don't know. That's right. Let's go find out. Yep. You know, don't just, just I mean, you don't want, I don't want to talk to the kids. I don't want to tell the kids about, talk to them about finances. I don't want to tell them about what's going on in the house. I'll just keep it all to myself. And then when all hell break loose, they're like, well, why didn't you tell us? We could handle that. Parents that keep you know, the, the fact that their relationship is breaking up and then the kids don't know what to do. We have got to guide and direct them. But we've got so many, I want to call them adults. Uh, I can't call them grown-ups because they're not doing grown-up things. They're not making adult decisions. They're making these bad decisions and then we wonder how come the kids don't know crap from apple butter. <laughs> That's right. Because we're not teaching them and we as the authoritative figures have to stop being afraid to talk openly and honestly to not just my children, my grandchildren, but to all the children. And when they come to us, don't be scared. Yes. What keeps you fearless? I don't think, I don't know that I am fearless. Oh yeah, I, you are. I think. Uh, uh, let me, let me, let me, let me get this <laughs> quick, real quick that you missed me. Uh -uh. If I saw you and a bear in a fight, I'm giving a bear a stick. <laughs> and that's fearless. I think it's, I think it's love. I think love is the most empowering thing. That's why it's so perfect to be talking about this play on the Mother Love Show because in Faith Work Studio with Jen Faith Brown. That's yeah, I right. Mean, this is called connectivity. That's people. it. This is what you gotta do. You gotta connect and not be afraid to connect and not be afraid to open up and say, I don't know. Love Let's overcomes go. fear Everything. every single time. You know what fear stands for, right? Tell me. False evidence appearing real. Yes. And we ain't got time to be fearful. That's it. Jen Faith Brown is in the studio with me on the YouTube channel, and we will be back.